Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, as usual, got quite a mixture of things in it. I do some repair work, uh, not repair work, I do some maintenance work on a fusible, lead fusible plug for Richard's steam wagon. I repair a little brass valve for his steam wagon as well. I have the cover off the headstock on the Harrison layer to try and cure an oil leak which has been ongoing for months and months now and I think I've actually got round to cure and that. I'll show a little bit of that. Deb's sister, Denise, comes down and she does a draw for this motor to your internal micrometer. Right. Right. Hi, my name's Denise Johns asking to do this week's draw um, for this internal micrometer. Um, and I'll do the draw now. And here's our bucket, which now is named. Put it down. Oops. And the name is Stephen King. Got to Thanks very much for that, Denise. Uh, well done, Stephen King. I'll get this in the post here this week. I'm going to do another draw this week. This week's draw is going to be for a brand new Morse taper 16.5mm drill. I did a draw for one before. A friend, or at least a viewer, gave us two or three of these and they make nice, ideal giveaways. Brand spanking new number two Morse taper 16.5mm drill. If you want a chance of winning this, all you've got to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. Your name will be put into the bucket and my wife Deb or Emmy or somebody will draw the name out. If it's your name, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world, totally free of charge. Naturally, your name stops in the bucket until it's drawn out. It's just a, it's just a little way of me saying thank you and giving a little bit back for all the support I've had. And people are actually sending gifts in now just to do giveaways with, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Far better as stuff be given away and shared out is just lie in a drawer somewhere, which sadly is what happens to a lot of stuff in the engineering, engineering game. Everything's in place now uh, for Debs and yourself to get to the, the bash in America. Uh, tickets are all bought, paid for, hotels booked, and uh, that's some really kind generous people offered to put us up for a few nights in various locations so basically things are things are all going to go forward now and we're both really looking forward to um to get to america and to get into vancouver and vancouver and, and meeting some really fantastic people uh who have been really helpful and supportive to not only me also towards them so it's going to be you probably noticed at the start of the video i've got a new logo a new name the new card sort of thing i'm getting some stickers done uh, they were done by one of my viewers lynn anderson also did the graphics on the bucket for the giveaway uh made a nice job with them uh, fantastic i've been i've been wanting a new logo for quite some time uh double boost twice an engineering one so i've got some some sort of business cards being made and i'm getting a lot of stickers done so i'll be able to take some stickers to america and hopefully swap them uh, with some of your lads and give them away to if you want them or if you want a sticker, I'll give you a sticker, not a problem. These are fusible plugs from a steam boiler. Basically they're a bronze fitting with a thread in them and the thread hole is filled up with lead. These are screwed into the firebox of the engine. The idea being is if the water gets too low, the lead will melt and the steam will blow into the fire and put the fire out. These have all seen a year's service and now's the time to take the lead out of them and refill them.
Right, the threads in these plugs is actually 7 16 split width. Put a 7 16 split width top down through it just to clean it out so we've got nice clean shiny threads. Screw it all the way through. Nice clean shiny metal in there now. Oh, that bastard was warm. Right, so we're back to nice clean. Shiny threads. Right, so the hoods have been cleaned out of the top. The next thing to do is warm them up, put some of this stuff on. This is old fashioned Baker Soldier and Flux. Put some of that on, and then we'll tin the inside of the threads with some tin soil up, and then proceed to fill them with the molten lead. Uh, I've got the three plugs standing on a little bit of it's actually casting sand. I'm going to put a washer on the top so when I pour the molten lead in, I get a little raised pot of lead here so I can machine a nice dome on it. So we'll melt some lead, warm these up, and pour it in. Then I'm going to melt this really old sheet laid off a roof. Here. A little traffic piece of good pulling wood and lead, take it in the cross off the top, warm these up, so that's starting to melt the side of there now, so I know it's at the right temperature. Right. I'm just going to consolidate the lead on the end of the plug where it goes through the washer. Consolidates quite a nice wood for a Tuesday night. Somebody has seen you can't mount a, a hex headed bullet into a four jaw chuck. Well, that's hex headed, that's a four jaw chuck, and that's running plenty of tone off already needs to be doing. Right, we're down to the. That's a steel washer there, that's the lead.
But you thought I was going to use a screwdriver to try and cut that off with. Right. We're left with a little raised portion of lead sticking out of the plug. This is the bit that actually goes into the fire. So what I need to do is machine a little doom on the lead in the lead's left proud of the bronze plug. For that I've got a little high speed steel foam tool. That we need to have on centre height. Very good if you can see that better. And this should form a nice little radius on the end of that lead plug. Just like that. I'm not quite sure the reason why you do that, but I was told by a very well respected boiler examiner that that's the way to finish them off. Just take a little whisper of fat face there. Face the back and form the nice dome on the front. I do a hydraulic test on that just to make sure, but I, I can assure there's no way that that, leg, that lead's going to move from in there. This is the other plug. If you, if you look closely, you can see the threads are damaged, the threads are barreled, are worn in there. As far as I'm concerned, that plug's scrap. I've got a big BSP adapter there that was screwed into there and I've got a couple of reducers so I can take it down to quarter BSP which is a thread I use on the end of my test rig. Once again I'm going to put some PTFE tape on the thread just to seal them. I don't particularly like this stuff when it has got its uses. You can basically keep on tightening these forever. That end's actually machined square because it goes onto a, a copper washer inside of the pipe on the pressure tester. Right, that screws onto the there. I'll pump some water in just fill the line with water because it is a, a hydraulic test we're doing. I'll 
blow the air out. Right, that's water up to there. Once again, a little bit of PTFE tape on here, screw that in. Then we're ready to test it. Right, that feels good. Straight up to 500. No leaks at all. Leave the pressure on for a little bit. So our left, we've got a little raised portion of lead. This is the actual bit that goes into the water. No, it's not. Clown. Bastard. <laughs> 